DevOps here and welcome to Lesson 9. We've all heard the fortunes in the follow-up and the money's in the list, basically saying the same thing. Well, I want to give you a couple of examples that I have here. I'm going to have to read it a little bit. I don't remember stuff like that very well. But anyway, in 2006, Google paid $1.65 billion for YouTube. And it was a company that was less than two years old. Um, YouTube began here in that this case study they were spending a million dollars a month just on bandwidth alone. Were they making any money? No, they weren't making any money. And its advertising revenue was very, very slim compared to their expenses, which were very high. Additionally, Facebook, which is one of the biggest social media networks in the world, um, with around two two billion, a little over two billion users right now. And um, actually, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg in 2006 turned down $750 million for Facebook to, from, to Yahoo. And the reason why they, why would they do that? You know, first of all, they weren't profitable. Um, he had to request $25 million in venture capital just to keep it going. So why would he expect $2 billion for his site? Why would his site be worth so much? Well, let's talk about that for a minute. You've got to look at the value of a subscriber base. Now, today in this age, I mean, you have the no-call list, you have satellite radio, you have DVDs, you have Netflix, you have a whole host of things in which people cannot get their message out. We can no longer advertise in newspapers because most people are going to are going online to look at newspapers. There just really isn't that many choices for you to get your, uh, your product out in front of people. So when you look at places like YouTube and Facebook, you can see the, the value of a subscriber list. They, the, like I said, these places, the, these, Platforms are enormous. They have tons and tons of subscribers, tons of viewers. And it's also an opportunity for you to just get even, you know, if you could get a loyal list of 2,000 subscribers, you'd have it made. You would have enough to, uh, you know, to be able to have enough revenue to get by and do well. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is I use, uh, I'm involved with a program called Elite Marketing Pro, and I add affiliate marketing. Elite Marketing Pro has tons and tons of products. Attraction Marketing Formula, where I'm getting a lot of this information, is one of their products. But these products are designed to teach you how to market and how to uh, present your products in a better light, how to market. And, you know, the thing with it is when you offer affiliate products, these affiliate, if you can profit from people, let's say that you're in network marketing, which most of you are, you can, you can uh, instead of having only network marketing, you can actually profit from customers that uh, will buy your other products, even if they don't join your primary opportunity, which also helps fund your advertising. Anyway, um, you know, if you if you like this information, I would highly recommend getting the attraction marketing formula and just read up and see if there's any if there's enough value from it. Like I said, I've got all of my information from the from that. Um, and it, I highly recommend it because it teaches you how to attract customers to you instead of pushing them away like most people do. And it, it will help you make sales for your business and it will help build enough revenue so that you can actually keep your, um, your network marketing business going as well. Anyway, hope you got value from this and we'll see you in the next video.